Let your living water flow over my soul. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control of every situation that has troubled my mind. All my cares and burdens unto you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, we welcome you to the second day of our Novena to the Holy Spirit. And the theme of this day is Reconcile with the Holy Spirit. Reconcile with the Holy Spirit. So let us have the first prayer, the opening prayer which is breathe in me holy spirit breathe in me o holy spirit that my thoughts may be holy move in me holy spirit that my work may be holy attach my heart holy spirit that i may love only what is holy o holy spirit soul of my soul life of my life i adore you i worship you I bow down before you. Guide me in all my work. Strengthen me from all my weaknesses. Comfort me in all my disappointments and failures. Sanctify me from all my sins. Heal me of all my sicknesses and wounds, spiritual, physical, and emotional. Lead me to the way of my Father. Reveal Jesus, my Savior, to me. Open my eyes and my heart to the word of God. Teach me to pray. Help me to love as Jesus loves. Strengthen me, Holy Spirit, that I may defend all that is holy. Protect me, Holy Spirit, that I may always be holy. Amen. Uh, thank you very much. So, my dear people of God, let us hear... Our reading of today, which is from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29 to 31. St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29 to 31. Let us get the reading. The Bible says, Do not use harmful words, but only helpful words. The kind the kind that build up and provide what is needed, so that what you say will do good to those who hear you. And do not make God's Holy Spirit sad, for the Spirit is God's mark of worship on you. I guarantee that the day will come when God will set you free. Get rid of all bitterness, passion and anger. No more shouting or insults. No more hateful feeling of any sort. Instead, be kind and tender-hearted to one another and forgive one another as God has forgiven you through Christ. Amen. The Word of God. Thanks be to God. So, my dear friends, today we are looking at Reconciling with the Holy Spirit. We've just heard from that Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29, and especially 30. Do not make the Holy Spirit of God sad. Remember that the Holy Spirit is a person. The Holy Spirit is God. The Holy Spirit can be grieved. Before you and I even invite the Holy Spirit and ask Him to reign in your life. So the first thing that you and I are called to do today is to reconcile with the Holy Spirit. We need this today more than any other time. When the Holy Spirit is at work in you, when He reigns in you, when you obey him, 
you'll see his manifestations in your life. So, have you ever grieved the Holy Spirit of God? How do we grieve him? The Holy Spirit can be grieved, especially when we ignore him. When we take him for granted, or when we take him so casually. Remember the Holy Spirit is God, just like the Father and the Son. He should be worshipped, he should be adored, he should be listened to, obeyed, and followed. So when you and I, you don't adore him, you don't worship him, you don't even praise him, then he's grieved. When we live in disobedience to the commandments of God, the Holy Spirit is grieved. So today, as we go on with our reflection on the second day of this novena, how have you grieved the Holy Spirit? What thoughts, negative thoughts that you've entertained? What words and negative words, maybe the words that have hurt others, maybe abusive words that have come from my mouth and your mouth? How about your actions? Is there any action in your life that has grieved the Holy Spirit? Today, reconcile with the Holy Spirit. How do we reconcile with Him? It is very simple. The Holy Spirit is understanding. Just speak to the Holy Spirit and tell Him how you've disobeyed Him, how you've gone against His will, how you've broken the commandments of God, how you've not followed the paths, you know, that He gave you, how you've not taken Him as your teacher, as your advocate, as your counselor, and your helper, how you've sidelined Him, and remove with his help, all the evil in your life. In other words, when you repent of any non-sin in your life, and when this repentance is a true, is a sincere repentance, the Holy Spirit is reconciled with you. So let us reconcile with the Holy Spirit. If we don't reconcile with the Holy Spirit, sin will continue reigning in our lives. Having said this, we want to say the prayer of self-offering to the Holy Spirit. Remember, your body belongs to the Holy Spirit. Every part of you belongs to the Holy Spirit. Give the Holy Spirit His right. Your whole being belongs to Him. So surrender to the Holy Spirit. So we do the prayer of self-surrendering. Holy Spirit, God of love, be, be present to me and, and accept the offering of myself which I make to you. Receive my hands, feet, eyes, tongue, and all my senses. Receive my memory, my will, my understanding, my desires, my sighs, the longings and the aspirations of my soul. Receive my every hour, my every moment, and all the happenings of my life. Holy Spirit, God of love, knit my soul to you. Let your love possess my whole being, my senses, my power, my affections, and my very life. Rule my labor and my rest. 
my going and my staying, and move in me as it pleases you. Let your love disquiet or comfort me, humble or exalt me, and burn away all faults. Holy Spirit, God of love, draw me to you. Do with me what you will. Nothing will cause me fear, for your desire to give is greater than mine to receive. Transform me so that I may no longer know myself, nor find myself except in you. Amen. Let us totally belong to the Holy Spirit, because your body belongs to him, and your body is his dwelling. Keep on surrendering to him, and be conscious every day that you are owned by the Holy Spirit. Your body is owned by the Holy Spirit. Your hands does not belong to you, they belong to the Holy Spirit. All your senses are supposed to be guided and to be ruled by the Holy Spirit. So let the Holy Spirit be the boss of your life. So after this prayer, kindly do the litany of the Holy Spirit and sing a song to the Holy Spirit. May the Holy Spirit overshadow you as he overshadowed the Blessed Virgin Mary. Amen. Jesus, Jesus.